some Walgreens. Oh, you, you love Walgreens. Yes. And guess what? I have some very bad news for you, Crash Clark. No. And I have bad news for you, too, if you love Walgreens. So guess what? The drugstore plans to close hundreds of stores across the country as it tries to cut costs. Yep, yeah, there you have it. The company has been hit by challenges, including reimbursement cuts and lower price increases for branded drugs. A spokesman told CNBC it doesn't plan to announce the list of stores that are shutting down. And there are currently more than 300 Walgreens stores in Georgia. I know all the CBS elves out there are like, <laughs> I just, I love Walgreens though, you know? All right, everyone is jumping on the plant-based bandwagon, right? I'm in the back seat. Your friend's probably riding, you know, driving the car in the passenger seat, what have you. But Burger King has a confession, and this one really angered me. Their new Impossible Burger is not 100% vegan. Mm -mm. Now, according to the fine print, you got to look at the fine print, Shiba, on the Impossible Whoppers website, the meatless patty is still grilled in the same place as beef burgers. <laughs> But as a disclaimer, the burger, which is set to roll out nationwide, was never marketed as vegan. This is all a scam, and I am done. Shiva's responses are killing me. Okay, so speaking of imposter food, um, let's talk about it, and yeah, that really happened. So I got some more fake food news for you this morning. Many restaurants are serving up fake guacamole. Yeah, this is really happening, and now Napoleon has quit his job because he's walking away. He's done. It's happening in many restaurants in response to the rising costs of, you guessed it, avocados. So here's how it's being done. Instead of avocados, they use a Mexican squash that has a similar texture and taste. I kid you not. Now Crash has turned around and his mouth is open. So how do you know if your guac is real or fake? Well, guess what? The fake stuff is more watery, Sheba. I kid you mm. not. This whole, my whole segment today is like, just throw the whole show away. You know what? I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> it is 5-11 right now. Ahead here, our morning rush, a troubling sign of the times as sales for 